Hamas bureau chief Ismail Haniyeh, during his trip to Tehran, will meet with Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian. Haniyeh's last visit was in early November when he met Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei as well as other officials. Haniyeh's visit comes after a resolution adopted by the UN Security Council called for an immediate ceasefire for the ongoing Muslim holy month of Ramadan, leading to a lasting truce. Iran's President Raisi commended Gaza's resilience and its global impact, emphasizing its transformation from an Islamic issue to a universal humanitarian concern. He criticized the Zionist regime and its principal supporter, the United States, while expressing solidarity with Gaza's oppressed people. Raisi praised the Palestinian resistance's Operation Al-Quds Storm, highlighting its significant blows to the Zionist regime. He condemned the regime's role in regional instability and its obstruction of peace efforts. Ismail Haniyeh, head of the political office of the Hamas movement, also in this meeting, while conveying the greetings of the Palestinian people, the residents of Gaza, and the Mujahideen on the battlefield against the Zionist regime to the government and people of Iran and appreciating the efforts of the Islamic Republic of Iran in supporting the oppressed people of Palestine, considered the religious and ideological view of supporting the issue of Palestine as stemming from the deep-rooted and profound view of the officials of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The head of the Hamas political bureau continued by presenting a detailed report on the current events and the outlook for developments in Gaza, stating, The Operation Al-Quds Storm has had unprecedented achievements for the Palestinian people. Iran hailed the October 7 attack as a success but denied any direct involvement.